Good morning, this is Lynn Hale from New Life Legacy Farm and we have a fun but busy morning ahead of us. Oh, Laura Jane and I actually just got to my daddy's shop and we're cooking a Brunswick stew this morning and those of you watching this know that know my daddy, know that he's pretty famous for his Brunswick stew and I personally think that my daddy is just pretty famous anyway. Now it's around seven. It looks like Lee has some sausage on the grill. What kind of sausage is that? I have no idea. Bear and pork. Bear and pork sausage? Oh snap, that is gonna be good. Very good. Are you good? See how there's no coal down there? This is my brother, he's a friend. he actually lives in Raleigh, and him and his son, four. They actually got here at six this morning, which it takes them about an hour and a half-ish to get here. Ford stayed overnight, he didn't. Or Ford stayed overnight, excuse me. So, but last night we were all making I beds. stayed overnight, too. You did stay overnight? <laughs> yeah. I drove it out. I'm just kidding. I thought they were coming from Raleigh. So we were all making bets last night when Daddy said they were going to be here at six. We're like, no, it's not. <laughs> Where are you going to put them forward? Right in the trash can. <laughs> so this is my daddy. This is who I've been this is who I've been telling you who is famous. And he is famous. He's famous in my eyes and in my sister's eyes. And he does everything perfect. So daddy, how long have you been cooking burn goats stew like this? Uh about a week. <laughs> My sarcasm from, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Let's see here. 40 years, maybe? So he's been cooking this for 40 years. And he does a, he does a lot of stuff yeah. that you don't know about my daddy. And he does so many things. Cooking it for other people and for fundraisers and helping people out. Because that is the kind of amazing daddy that I have. What's the most pork you've ever cooked at one time? Ah, uh, 580. 580. And the average when you're cooking blunder stew, about how many, on average, do you cook? When I'm using all three pots, which I do twice a year at least, it's about 580. About 580. And these pots, you can see these are really big pots, and we actually have a boat paddle, what, we're, what we stir, stir with. This pot, uh, we're going to come out with around... 200, 210. Uh, if I could, I'd come up with about 270 in it. But we just didn't fit all the way up. I would say I'd trace the recipe. How's it feel stirring, Charlie? Terrible. It's a lot harder when it's thick like this. Maybe ask your sister. Maybe your sister should take over for you. Here, let me see. I'll try it. If you do it like the first like couple strokes, I'm like, man, this is easy, and then you do some more. 150 in, and yeah, you're like, oh my gosh. So what would, how would you describe my day's stew? It's the best stew I've ever eaten in my life. It's like, it is. It, it yeah. is, and truthfully, I hear people say, if people don't have my daddy's stew, they're like, oh my goodness, this is the best I've ever had. People don't know what brunch of stew is until they've eaten this. No. Then they never want any other brunch of stew. That's stew. right. And I agree, but like I said, my daddy's famous in the brunch of stew, but my daddy's famous in like everything that he does to me. <laughs> he is, isn't he, Brian? He, he is. Does he does that to everything. Y'all, this is my cousin Everett, and he is one of my very favorite cousins. The favorite, really, but she can't tell you that. <laughs> so, but there's something really special about this guy. Well, one, let me tell you a story. He actually took Charlie deer hunting this year at the very beginning of deer season, and Charlie got his very first deer in the crossbow. She did. With this guy. Charlie taught me everything I know about hunting. I would be uh, lost in the woods without him, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so let me tell you something else really special about this guy. He is like a legit professional chef. I mean, he I've seen some of the things that he's put together just like, I mean, beautiful, amazing. I, I can't even comprehend, but I really can't cook that well. But since you're like a legit professional chef, 
how would you describe my dad's steak? So, it's perfection. Um, I've been eating Brunswick stew my whole life. I've had it made by many different people. I've made it myself, and I'd like to think that I make a pretty good stew myself. But Tad's stew is uh, a cut above, and it's um, really just like watching an artist at work when you see him making it. It's kind of like watching Michelangelo paint the Sistine Chapel <laughs> in, in a tractor shop. It's kind of like watching me cook. Not quite like watching her cook. Maybe like watching her. Yeah, no, I can't think of anything. So, we'll just stick with Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel. If y'all don't know this guy, you absolutely need to meet this guy because he is amazing and you love him. Thanks for having me. We thought it was I never was good at that. <laughs> Super fun morning cooking stew with family. I'm actually off. I'm going to go deliver some of the stew and they're back there. They're going to clean up and actually they've got to finish taking all the stew up right now. Thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day.